You'll notice that a flowchart has different shapes or symbols. In this case, there are two symbols. Those with rounded ends represent the start and end points of the process, and rectangles are used to show the interim steps. There are dozens of symbols that can be used in a flowchart. If you're new to flowcharting, it's important to know what they represent before using them. The type of diagram dictates the flowchart symbols that are used. For example, a data flow diagram may contain an input-output symbol or an I.O. symbol, but you wouldn't expect to see it in most process flow diagrams. Here is a more comprehensive library of flowchart symbols. Many of the flowchart symbols shown here are for use in very specific applications, such as a data flow diagram used for computer programming. Unless you have specialized knowledge and your diagram is being developed for a pair group with similar knowledge, it's best to stick with basic flowchart symbols. If more than the most basic flowchart symbols appear in your diagram, it is good practice to include a legend or symbol key. Most flowcharts can be built using only the start, end, and action or process symbols, as well as basic connecting lines and split paths to denote decision points. Sticking with these primary flowchart symbols is the best way to ensure that your diagram will be easy to understand.